Hey y'all, what's up? My name is McKinley Williamson. Welcome to my channel. As you can see, I look crazy. I already have my brows on and my eyes primed because I forgot. <laughs> Whoops. But this is my very first video. Just want to say hey to everyone who watches. Hello. I'm just going to be kind of doing a get ready with me even though it's like 8 o'clock at night. Whoops. <laughs> I'm just going to be kind of doing my makeup, talking about myself, showing you all the makeup that I love and how I put it on my face. So if you like, you should be sure to subscribe and let me know any other videos that you may want me to do. I just used the Precisely My Brow Pencil by Benefit in the shade 4 and the 24 Hour Brow Starter by Benefit also. This is amazing clear brow gel. This is literally the best palette. Oh my god. It's the Nikki Tutorials Beauty Bay palette. If you guys didn't know, look at this gorgeousness. I have no clue what I'm doing with these eyes. So yeah, I think I might just wing it. I might do something blue. Maybe something pink. Maybe a little bit of both. Throw some cotton candy up in here. <laughs> Go ahead and take Amsterdam. On my Morphe M456 brush, which is very dirty because I need to clean them. Don't judge. <laughs> I'm going to be taking a little bit of Amsterdam. I'm just going to be placing that way higher than my crease because, you know, creases are overrated, right? Right. <laughs> I'm just slowly building up that pigment. And I'm going to swoop this out. I'm going to do a cut crease because if your crease isn't cut, I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> and I know this is not how people do their cut creases, but this is how I do my cut creases. So, <laughs> judge if you want. Kenzie Williamson, as I said in my intro, I'm 17 years old and I live in Southern Illinois. I am in high school still, and I'm a senior this year, so I'll be graduating. I'm going to go ahead and take Slasher, which is that gorgeous, gorgeous purple. I'm just going to put that right smack dab in the middle. Still going higher than my actual crease. Okay, so how I got into makeup, let's see. Um, Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> Because everyone's always like, well, my mom got me into makeup because she used to wear makeup, so I used to watch her. But, like, I, my mom does not wear makeup. She wears makeup, but it's very little. And I never really watched her put it on because, again, she didn't wear much. Um, so, I just kind of started out with wearing like mascara all the time and I loved how it made my lashes look like huge then I started to put a little bit of eyeshadow on every now and then in like sixth grade then seventh grade came and I started getting into it more and more I started watching YouTube I Literally fell in love with Nikki tutorials. As you can see, the palette, yes. Nikki loves her. Okay. And she, I literally, she's such an inspiration to me because her, oh my god, her freaking skills are amazing. And she's just such a freaking, like, ugh, I just love her. She just seems like the sweetest person ever. And, ugh, I just want to be like her. <laughs> and, anyway... So that's kind of in how I started getting into watching YouTube, but then I started to play with makeup more around, I'd say my 8th grade year, I started to dabble into foundation and a little bit more with eyeshadow, but my eyeshadow was like brown with maybe a silver on the lid. That's pretty much it, and I'd say my 
I'm just using the same brush, by the way. I love using the same brush. It just makes everything so much easier. But that's pretty much it. I have my freshman year of high school. I really started to get into makeup. I started to watch YouTube more and more and started to practice more with it. And then I would say my sophomore year, I really got good at it. I got best makeup at my prom. Sorry, that was a subtle flex, but I was very proud of myself. Okay. <laughs> and then my junior year is when I started to get very good at eyeshadow, um, which was last year. And I just started to actually care more about my makeup and why I liked it because it made me feel good. I did not care if someone else didn't like it. If I liked it, I liked it. But I started watching YouTube more and I just really fell in love with makeup. And now I have too much. <laughs> but I actually started a makeup Instagram during this quite annoying quarantine and I have about 300 followers on there that's not that many but like I haven't posted that much I just love makeup like when I get down in the dumps I can just go and play with makeup and I'll be happy like anyway that's my little story on makeup so now I'm going to take blend and snap out the palette I'm just going to put that right in the inner part of my eye, kind of working that with that slasher shade and also bringing that up into the eyebrow a little bit. I learned this tip from Nikki. It looks crazy right now, but then once I do my foundation and then touch it up at the end, it'll all come together, I promise. <laughs> anyway. But yeah, I really, that's how I started getting into makeup, pretty much, um, and I do have a boyfriend. His name is Ryan. He's literally the love of my life. I'm taking a mix of Zomer and Blend and Snap. And I'm just going to blend out that slasher shade up to my brow. I love to blend eyeshadows like way up. I know some people don't like that, but I love that. And then I'm going to take slasher again and just re-intensify that purple right in there like that just I'm just using the same brush I have like a ton of brushes and I use like the same four <laughs> so yeah wow that looks horrible <laughs> take it Morphe M433 again dirty oops I'm gonna take a mixture of plot twist and ew which is like that green color and that very light blue Tap it off. It's pigmented. That jeans. And remind you, this will look like crap until I cut the crease. But so I suck at art. Okay, <laughs> I suck at it. And people are like, some people are just so talented at makeup because they're just naturally an artist. But I am not. I can't do art to save my life. So. <laughs> I had to really work at makeup to get good at it. Like, it took me a long, long time to get into it because I, I'm i just not good at art. I just was never the artsy person. But I just love makeup. I'm loving how this is looking. It's kind of like blending into like a pretty like dark purple. I love that. Anyways, now I'm going to work on this. I'll be back when it's done. I'm back. Everybody's 2020 going. Not good? Agree. <laughs> Sorry. But 2020 has been quite the year, I would say. Quite the year for me. Um, yeah. But ignore this ugly background. I promise it won't look like this all the time. I'm filming in my makeup vanity, which is like by my closet. That's my closet. Um... Sorry about it. M224 brush and I'm going to cut it my crease. I like to start like very far. If I'm looking over, I'm looking at my mirror. So that's what I'm looking at. 
I'm sorry, I can't like talk and do this because this is a very dangerous game. <laughs> And most likely, they will not be even. Because cut creases are, and wings are literally the hardest thing in the world to get even. Just saying. But, anyway. I just like to make slow little strokes at first. Then, I'm going to take that slashy shade and I'm just going to add it back and then I'm going to take my big girl brush, go into Blend and Snap and Zomer again and just kind of blend that out again. Ride to that freaking gorgeous like, oh my, look at that, oh my gosh, it's like a pink with a blue shift, blue duo chrome reflection. I love this shade, but I think my favorite shade in the palette is All In. Oh my. I'm just, I'm gonna like, ew. But let me swatch it like. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Look at that shift. <sighs> but Pride is also gorgeous. Let me just swatch that one too. Look, there's that Pride. So now I am going to set that cut crease with pride. I just like let's just take a moment. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Sorry, I just had like a it's so gorgeous. Okay. I just like to take my finger because that's what puts off the most pigment. Shimmers in this palette are literally so good. Like, I can't. Oh my god. Like, look at that. Oh. Makeup wipe, and I just kind of put my finger there, and I just. And I know people are going to be crying. Don't tug on your eye. Don't tug on your eye, but. Sorry about it. <laughs> Here it is up close. Back, my wings are on. I didn't do huge wings, but I just did a little bit of wings. My hand is disgusting. The Milk Hydro Grip Primer and just prime my face. I take about one, a little bit, like one and one fourth squirts. <laughs> just rub it together and then I just smooth it into my thing. Because this primer is literally best primer in the freaking makeup game in my opinion it's so good Paige Corrin actually made me buy it I loved it and I had a mini and I liked it but I was like oh, I don't know and I was like I was watching a Paige Corrin video of her like Sephora VIB must-haves or something that she was gonna buy and I was like I had it like, I was like, I want to buy it, but I don't know. So, I seen that video, and I was like, yep, got to buy it. At the VIB sale, yes, I got to buy it. So, I bought it. Too Faced wore this way in the shade Warm Nude. And the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 in the shade Creamy Vanilla. I like add one square of the Milani to the Too Faced, which is, I Too Faced, I do about, like, two squirts. And I never use all of it, but... I like to add the Milani one because for one, it's lighter. For two, it adds a good amount of coverage because the Too Faced is like a medium buildable-ish. I'd say it's more on the, the, it's medium to full buildable, but the Milani is like shellac. It's like full coverage, full coverage, full coverage. <laughs> so now I'm just going to, now I'm just taking my beauty blender, which is very dirty that I need to clean. Just tapping. I like to start on the bottom because I feel like I need the most coverage like on my cheeks because as you can see they get very red and everyone told me I should make a YouTube channel because I was good and I was like but I'm nowhere near as good as anybody on YouTube like anybody and 
I guess I'm just like I look so good to everyone around me because where I live there's like barely anybody who actually does like full beat makeup and so I'm just very different to them because I do a full glam okay I went ahead and did the rest of my base off camera just because it saves time and no one wants to see me blend foundation for an hour okay <laughs> I'm sorry, but I literally blend, like, my base, I love eyeshadow, don't get me wrong, but having a flawless base is, like, everything to me, so, yeah. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna go with the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Snow. I love concealer, so <laughs> I'm gonna pack it on. I just put a crap ton under my eyes, and then I do some more hair. Cupid's bow, a little bit on the nose, and a little bit on the forehead. Cute yet? This is this end of my beauty blender. I blend it in. Sometimes I like to go with the cream bronzer and a powder bronzer. Sometimes I like to go with the cream blush. I don't think I'm going to do either of that today. Just it's um 8 o'clock at night, and... Let's be real, I'm just taking my makeup off after I film this video, so not going to use those. <laughs> but I am going to go ahead and set my face using the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder in the shade Pound Cake. Like, look how fast that sunk into my under eye. Like, are you kidding me? Look how smooth that is. Sometimes I just take it and I just tap the product in and I also buff it in very, very lightly, like barely putting the brush on your skin. I have two brothers. They are way older than me. I'm the baby of all of them. Um, they're married and they have kids already and I'm 17, so but i have a niece her name is audrey and i love her to pieces she's one i have two nephews luke who is seven and will who is four luke was actually born on my birthday which is june 19th i didn't mention that um my birthday is june 19th um i'm a summer baby gemini Lonnie blush in the shade luminoso it's so pretty because it's like got that shimmer in it and it's just a gorgeous peachy color and that shimmer just gives me a glow back to my skin and I love it. I'm going to go into the Anastasia Beverly Hills X Amazing Highlighter. Oh my gosh, look at that. Gorgeous. My Cupid's bow. My nose. And a little on my forehead. Just to make sure that glow is still there. Here's the Hawaiian Cosmetics Lashes in the style Sugar. These lashes are dry. I'm going to wear Beauty Matte Lip Cream in the shade Fearless. Here is the finished look. If you like it, please like, subscribe.